are the first official night for us here at Country Smack at CRS 2013 in Nashville, Tennessee. And I have a favorite of mine, Mr. Joe Denham, that has joined us to answer a few questions. How are you? I'm doing, great. I'm, doing, I'm doing great, you know. I, I feel like we haven't seen each other in a long time, and I wanted to, to catch up with you and see what's going on, and for those of you that don't know. Well, we have a lot of questions that we want to answer tonight <laughs> here at the, uh, the Bridge Bar. What is the Bridge Bar for? Well, the Bridge Bar is for everybody to come and hang out and uh, socialize, get to know each other a little more, say hello. A lot of our friends from the road are in here tonight, and uh, a lot of radio friends, so that's why we're here, and we're having a blast. That's awesome. Uh, in case you don't know, Joe is uh, pretty infamous for a song that he wrote, and it has some funny stories to it. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit behind the song, Pray For You? Well, there's a lot of truth to it, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. I think we need to talk about so oh, I'm kidding. No, it's a great song. It's about praying for uh, things to happen to your ex if you're upset. Not necessarily, uh, you know, making sure that bad things happen, but we all do it. I mean, we have to admit, when you went through a breakup, when I went through a breakup, we had bad feelings, and it's just a song about that. Oh, there's always bad feelings. And, I... and nobody got hurt in the making or the writing of the song, so everybody was okay. Oh, I guess that's where our stories are different. Oh. Okay, moving on. So, anyway, um, I wanted to bring to light our sponsor for Country Smack, uh, which is a tequila. Of course, we had to have a tequila and uh, here it is right now yeah. it's called question tequila and this is it looks like a question mark, it looks it? like a question and so we've got um, a question of the day for you mr. Joe Denham okay. we are looking at what's going on in the industry what's happening behind the scenes give us a little bit of advice for somebody out there who is trying to get into the business what would it take what doesn't it take what to stay away from where to go who to go out with well, if you have a solid job and a college education, you should probably stop that right now and fall back on something more secure like the music industry. Uh, Every parent wants to hear that. Yeah, so, sorry, parents. Uh, could change your life. Uh, I'm not sure how, in a good way or a bad way, but it'll change your life. But yes, stay in school and buy a bass guitar. Slap the bass. Slap it. Let's, uh, let's try you this. You want to do a shot of tequila? Okay. Okay, let's, okay, do, let's it. do it. I, I poured a little bit in. And, uh, I have it in here already. And I'm just going to swig. And what is this called? What is this called? This is the Anejo. They have three different kinds. They've got Blanco, Reposado, and this is the Anejo, the finest of the three. I think this should probably be called the uh, Headache-O. Headache-O tomorrow-O, because it's tequila-O. Who did I wake up with-O? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, who did I, whoa, <laughs> well, O. Oh. What? Let's do All right, this. let's do a shot. Cheers. Cheers. How many interviews do I have to do? Feels so good when it hits your lips. The tequila. Oh, right. absolutely. Let me let me let me put the lid on that yes. real quick. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank appreciate you, for you having, having a shot with me. It's yep. always good to, to have you around and to hear your uplifting stories and Thank you. Let's I say we get back into the bridge bar. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay.